everybody. I am sitting here chilling with the current winner of America's Next Top Model, Mr. Keith Carlos. How are you, Keith? I'm awesome. And yourself? Very, very good. So we're here at Hey Lucy's in downtown Toronto. This is your first time in Toronto? Yes, it's my first time here. I'm loving it. You're loving it? Yes, I oh, am. Good. good. It's a really cool city. The weather sucks, though. I came at a, a, a tough time. You, well, to be fair, you came at one of our worst times in uh, in Little Canada here, so. Yeah, it's cool though. That's it's cool. All right. Yeah, That's all right. I'll live. <laughs> I, to, I gotta get back out here soon though. Oh, yeah? yeah. What, are, what are you coming back out here for? Just leisure or? Um, I may come back for Fashion Week out here. Okay. Uh, yeah, so um, setting that all down. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay, perfect. That's only in a couple of weeks, so yeah, yeah we'll back. be seeing. I'll be back. All right. Yeah, hopefully the, the snow and the bad weather leaves and uh, I'll come back. Here's hoping, yeah, I hope that for you too. So Keith, I want to take you back to uh, the moment where it was announced, okay. the final, the you know, the, the final card where you were the winner. Can you describe to me a little bit about how that, that moment happened? Yeah, um, I was standing up through a Will and I just knew for sure that, you know, Will was pretty much going to win at that point. Um, you know, he's a great model, great guy, and you know, has a, a, a great understanding of the business and of himself and he's a great model so um when i was announced it was just like surreal and i was overjoyed it's really hard to put in words how i felt but even to this point i'm still it still hasn't uh hit me that i'm actually you know the winner and the first male winner of the right. show so so you're saying basically you had given up like you really just didn't think you were gonna take it you thought it was just gonna go to will pretty much because like his pictures uh, have been really consistent, and I, you know, bump heads with Usai a lot on the show. So, just getting Usai's feedback and um, just the whole energy, I felt as as if you know that was going to count against me, but right. instead it, it worked for me. Yeah. yeah. How do you feel about the um, the comparison that's often kind of given between you and yeah, I'm gonna say it, Tyson Beckford. It, does it does it get annoying? I mean, do you do you see it as a compliment, or you kind of want to you know steer away it from does, that? It does get annoying, and I do want to steer away from it, but I do like it because you know he's someone who opened a lot of doors for um, African American models, yes. and um, it's it's a little annoying because I have my own entity, my I'm my own person, and I, I, I try to. And you're not Tyson Beckford. I mean, you're just not. We have the same birthday, but you know, that's... Wow. Yeah, I know, it's weird. Wow. But uh, overall, it's a cool cool, um, cool thing because he's a lady killer. So if the ladies love him, they'll love me if I look like him, I guess. So, okay, you were in football before, yeah. correct? Yeah. So talk to me about the transition from football player to model. I mean, the, they're two completely different uh, careers. Um, the transition was actually smooth. I felt like everything I learned in football prepared me for this opportunity in this moment because I learned a lot from football from you know being able to learn on the go and um, take constructive criticism and still um, perform. Right. So that's basically what I had to do on the show. Okay. And you know, um, Usai gave me a lot of uh, gave me a hard time, and I kind of just took it as took the punches and rolled with it and uh, came up on top. So. Right. Right. Overall, they both are very um, competitive, and uh, you have to be a, have a have a strong mindset to be successful at both of them. So I feel like they they went hand in hand. Right, right. Do you do you keep in touch with anyone? Uh, you know, any of your your mates from football? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, all the way from Pop Warner. You know, I'm still cool with a lot of my teammates. At first it was, you know, uh, they looked at me like I was soft because I was interested in modeling. Now they want to model. They're asking, how can I put them on? Uh, Everybody want to take selfies. Now, you know, this is it. You are the winner. You are uh, Mr. America's Next Top Model, Mr. right? A &T -M. Yes, yes. yes. So uh, how's life changed for you ever since? I mean, has it just been like go, go, go ever since? You get swarmed everywhere you go? Yeah, definitely. It's been, you know, um, no sleep, really. Uh, it's just constant grind, um, constant growth on and and thought on how you can build your brand um yeah i'm just i want to do a lot i'm going to do a lot so it's just you know putting everything in order and uh and actually getting out there and doing it right. so 
Okay, yeah. very cool, very cool. Any uh, any dream sort of collaborations with any designers that you'd want to walk for, or maybe even walk on the same runway as uh, any specific models? You know, any? Yeah, you know, um, since I'm the first uh, male to win America's Next Top Model, I actually want to be the first male to model in the Victoria's Secret show. That'd be great. You know what? I think or that's... at least I can be in the back, you know, um, oiling or whatever they need me to do, carrying, you know, something. I'm sure you and, and a million other men have applied for that position. But you know what? I think that's really cool. He should be the first male to walk on Victoria's Secret model because we should see some men wearing Victoria's exactly. Secret underwear. I vote for that. I think that's a great idea. Okay. Keith, I'm gonna play a little game with you. Nope, no. I don't play games. No, we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. It's, I'm gonna say a sentence and you're gonna finish it. All right. Okay? All right. My favorite cologne is? YSL. Okay. My favorite food is? Jerk chicken. My current celebrity crush is? You. Oh. All right, thanks for coming everybody. We're gonna go. <laughs> Um, besides you, um, on my days off, I, have, I crush on uh, Rihanna. Oh, Rihanna. And Beyonce. Oh. And Sierra. And Monica Hargrove. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's it? That's it? it? That's about it? Okay. So, that's all okay. I can think about right now, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, hey. Well, Beyonce, I mean, we all know she's Wait, taken. Oprah. Oprah. You could get it too, baby. Yeah. I'm attracted to her money. Are you you're attracted? I'm, yeah, I'm not a gold digger, but, you know, Oprah. She, she does, I, I hear she has a golden toilet. Out, huh? She has a golden toilet from what I understand. So just being in her bathroom is a privilege alone. From from what I, no seriously, this is, this is something I heard. Like, um, what chair? I'm sorry? What chair go? Oh, I don't know what carrot is just, but t come on, really, does it matter? A golden toilet? Who needs that? <laughs> wow, uh, all So everything. Oprah, <laughs> <laughs> Keith's waiting for ya. Right, right, right. I can't wait to sit on your golden toilet. That's if you have one, and if you don't, oh. I'm sorry. I am not. Uh, this is not an official piece of information. It's just something I heard, Oprah. So, don't take it personally. Awesome. Okay, Keith. Thank you so much for chatting with me and, had, and sitting down, and, and uh, thank you for coming to Toronto. Yeah. Yeah. And I hope to see you again during uh, Fashion Week. Most definitely. Thanks for having me. Oh, of course, of course, guys. As per usual, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at Metropolis Five TV. I'll see you later. And follow us on at Keith Carlos on Instagram and on Twitter. You can follow me at Keith underscore Carlos. Back to you, Carla. There we I'll go. That, yeah, that's it. That's it. See you guys.